You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. All right, guys, we're going to be talking about Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers here in this video. As you guys may remember last season, there was a bit of controversy with uh, one Aaron Rodgers when it came to um, him getting the jab. Aaron Rodgers is not vaccinated. And as of today, he is still not vaccinated. Now, he was actually asked by the media on his vaccination status. And I believe that the media should not be asking anybody about their own personal medical stuff. I believe that's completely out of line here. But Aaron Rodgers said that he was actually immunized. Now, he appeared on Joe Rogan's podcast and he kind of gave the bat story of why he actually came out and said that. Now, Aaron Rodgers actually could not get the Wuhan virus jab because something in these M MRA vaccines he was actually allergic to. And he was actually thought, thought about actually getting the Johnson & Johnson one, but it got pulled from the market. And you guys know the reason why. Well, he kind of gives that story on why he actually decided to talk about telling the media that he was actually immunized because he was actually looking at some alternatives to actually uh, boost his immune system in case he actually got an infection. Now, it seems also, guys, because Aaron Rodgers has actually two clips we're going to check out here. In the second clip, the NFL basically called him a cons conspiracy theorist on what he actually said about the vaccine. Now, guys, a year ago or so, if we actually said what he said here on YouTube, we would get banned. They would actually probably take the video down. But now Aaron Rodgers was absolutely right about the jab. Even the CDC has come out and said the same thing. But here we go, guys. It says they didn't follow up. Aaron Rodgers reveals how woke media allowed him to obscure that status. Because at that time, folks, they were demonizing people that did not get the jab. Now, I believe, folks, it would have been a very, very different story in 2021 if Donald Trump was still in the White House. The people on the left and the media is mainly left. If Donald Trump was in the White House, they would have been, been advocates for, oh, don't get this jab. But since Joe Biden was in office, hey, everybody get the jab or else. People lost their jobs. People were demonized because they didn't get the jab. So let's check out this first clip here of why Aaron Rodgers came out and said that he was um, immunized. Let's go ahead and roll it. Here we go. So I've been ready the entire time for this question and had thought about how I wanted to answer it. And I had come to the conclusion, I'm going to say, I've been immunized. And if there's a follow-up, then talk about my process. But thought there's a possibility that I say I'm immunized. Maybe they understand what that means. Maybe they don't. Maybe they follow up. They didn't follow up. So then I go the season, them thinking, some of them, that I was vaccinated. Right? Because they follow, the only follow-up they asked was basically asking me to rip on my teammates. Like, what do you say to your teammates who aren't vaccinated? Like, what kind of example do you feel like you're setting, you know, to your teammates who aren't vaccinated. I said, hey, it's everybody's own decision with their body, and we're super healthy individuals. We take care of ourselves. We understand what goes in our bodies, and I don't have any judgment on any decision that a guy makes with their own body, right? And that's a good point right there. Now, Aaron Rodgers did come down with the Wuhan virus, and um, he actually talked to Joe Rogan. Now, Joe Rogan is not a doctor. Joe Rogan just say, hey, this is what I did. And Aaron Rodgers, you don't see it in this clip, but on um, – Joe Rogan's um, YouTube channel, um, Aaron Rodgers basically followed the same thing that Joe Rogan did when he actually caught it as well. And Aaron Rodgers said he was fine in three days. Now, Aaron Rodgers is a world class athlete. This man is in tremendous shape. But the demonization of this man, when the media found out that he was not jabbed up, they were crushing this man. And I believe that it was actually going to stop him from winning the MVP. How however, it didn't. I mean, his play on the field was tremendous last season and he did end up winning the MVP. 
Now, here's the second clip here, folks. Aaron Rodgers talks about how um, the NFL actually called him a conspiracy theorist because Aaron Rodgers was actually watching people in the Packers organization, not players, that actually got the jab and they had an outbreak of COVID-19 in the Packers organization because the NFL was telling him, hey, you cannot get or spread the virus if you got the jab. And we know that's not the case. That is just fake news. It's false information. It is, quote unquote, misinformation. So let's watch this uh, second clip here, guys. My vaccination status from the start, um, as did all my teammates. There was a lot of talk about I endangered my teammates and, you know, I lied to my teammates and my team from day one that I returned, which was July 25th, probably of 2021. They knew where I was at. Everybody did. Also on the side, I had an appeal going with the NFL because I said, look, here's my uh, health issues. Here's the protocol I went through. Here's the research behind it. Gave them 500 pages of research from a number of people that put together uh, case-reviewed studies around homeopathy and, uh, and immunizations and the safety in them and the, also the efficacy of them. And then I had a conversation with the league and the league said in this conversation, this one I knew that my appeal was definitely not going to happen was they said, it's not possible for a vaccinated player person, sorry, to contract or transmit COVID if they've been vaccinated. And we know that's a lie now. And I said, you gotta be kidding me. Cause I showed up and five people, non-players, five people fully vaxxed are out with COVID. So what are you talking about? And he said, you're a conspiracy theorist. Oh boy. And I said, no, I just think I'm a realist. I'm just looking at the facts here. Like and what, you just what told point me, in the pandemic was this? This was like beginning of August, 2021. So by then they had already known that breakthrough infections were real. Yeah. And you notice folks, they're not calling, um, the quote unquote breakthrough infections, breakthrough infections anymore. They call it a uh, rebound COVID. Now, remember Beijing Biden got four jabs now and he actually caught COVID twice in the same week. And his wife, Jill Biden, also got four jabs, caught COVID also as well, twice in, um, in a week. Dr. Fauci got four jabs, too, and he caught it as well. Now, going back to 2021, folks. I know I knew quite a few people that actually got the jabs and then they came down with the Wuhan virus. We knew that then. This is roughly around the same time uh, Aaron Rodgers is talking about. He said like August of last year. Um, many of the people I knew actually was the Omicron thing. That was around Thanksgiving of last year. And they were jabbed up and he still came down with it. So this is something that was already known. But the NFL called Aaron Rodgers a con conspiracy theorist. Think about that, guys. They 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 had to know that people were still getting the virus regardless of um, their vaccination status. They had to know it. But um, Aaron Rodgers was actually, um, I, I believe the NFL actually got him because he wasn't wearing a mask or something like that when he's supposed to. Um, if you guys actually listen and watch on the the podcast, he talks about how the young bats uh, players, uh, they had all these restrictions. They couldn't go out on the road. Uh, they had to work out separately in the weight room from um, the VATS players. It was completely ridiculous. I mean, that was like massive segregation. And I believe that Aaron Rodgers actually said it was like um, seven Packers players that didn't get the jab and they were segregated. But when it came down to the field on Sunday, magically, you know, the virus didn't spread when they were on the football football field and the practice field. It's, it just didn't spread. So they didn't have to wear masks, or anything like that. It was completely ridiculous, folks. But the NFL calling Aaron Rodgers a conspiracy theorist. Man, they look like fools now. They really, really do. Now, one thing that Aaron Rodgers should have done and instead of saying the whole immunized thing, he should have just pulled the uh, Novak Djokovic thing. Hey. I'm not getting a jab. I have no plans on getting a jab. I'm actually allergic to something naturally in one of these uh, mRNA 
uh, vaccines. So I'm not getting it. He should have left it at that. But he tried to, I guess, he didn't want the backlash. Now, that's why I got a lot of respect for Novak Djokovic. He was like, hey, I don't care what you guys think at all. It is my body. And as far as we know, he isn't allergic to anything in the jabs. He just didn't want to get it. And you know what? He's standing his ground and he's paying a price right now because he won't be at the U.S. Open. And I can guarantee you guys he will not be at the Australian Open. But hey, Aaron Rodgers, conspiracy theorists, that's kind of crazy right there. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.